Hey there, welcome to Brick Right. We're on yet another job. Ticking off these box these boxes now with these jobs really, really quickly. And if you'd seen the last video, we're still burnt out, we're shattered, Brad, aren't we? Yeah. This is the new job. So we're still in Cardiff. So we've got this section behind me here. That section is going to be a patio. There's going to be a curved wall in brickwork over on that side over there. And if you come around here, Brad, what we've got is all this section down here. It's going to be a path. And if you come over here, Bradley, all we've got, we got a little bit excited, didn't we, Brad? Yeah. A little bit carried away. And we've got to break all this up and there's a patio going in here as well. These are the slabs. Now, it's, just, it's a nice change because normally we're laying porcelain or Indian sandstone or a high-end product. Customer's very particular, Margaret here, known her for many, many years, which is great. She wants these slabs, she's been particular about them. It's not something we'd normally lay, is it? No. Not something we normally lay the concrete, but just to show something different, it'd be nice for us to lay these. So we're going to get on with it, get the mini digger working, get these arms pumping and try and wake up a little bit, don't we, mate? Yeah. Because we're knackered, don't we? Yeah. We want our holiday, don't we? Bloody right. And when we go on holiday, what's he going to do? Pour down with rain, no doubt. Like it is now. And you'd be moaning you want to come back to work. <laughs> no, I won't. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's get on with it then. It was Friday. We're all fresh-faced today, mate, aren't we? Mm. We were absolutely shattered yesterday. And we're going to do a van vlog in the van for, from Sal, and we haven't done one for a while, so stay tuned for the van vlog. Brad doesn't know about it yet. We're going to have a little chat in the van. Brad's going to get involved as my special guest. He's going to be a special guest, Brad. And uh, we're going to have a little chat about uh, overworking and stuff like that and, and the, the impact of uh, doing too much and, and trying to manage it all out. So stay tuned for that one. But this one, this has been down 49 years and the patio is looking better than me and I'm the same age. So what all is laid on look, is sand and cement. And that is all it is. So what's that? I don't know. About 70 mil, 60 mil. About three inches, maybe a bit more. Yeah. Give or and take. that's all. And then underneath that then is mud. So that's not the way to do it. So we'll dig all this out now and, and stay tuned because when we put our base in, we'll show you how we do it in the, in the modern day. So stay tuned for that. Jam donuts. There we are, look. We're just sat in the van now. Customers just come out. We've worked for Margaret for 15 years. When you do this job, you don't get tend to get regular customers, but we've been back and forth here for over 50 years. A lovely Mike and Margaret. Mm. So he just she just brought out, what are they? Two strawberry jam donuts for us and a cup of tea and what did you just say to me tell him the truth I'm starving. no what would you say about my donut oh i am bored pardon yeah <laughs> what did you say you said if you don't hurry up and eat them i'm eating them both didn't you so i better get off the phone and you oh, christ i'm going whoa 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 <laughs> right so i just about managed to get to my donut before that greedy bloody Welsh wildebeest got to it first. And you're on a little bit of a diet, Brad, aren't you? Yeah, seafood diet. Seafood yeah. bloody diet, yeah. yeah. What Wrong. calories are in there, then? Have a guess, per one. I would say... Oh, it was fresh, British fresh cream with, with jam, strawberry jam. I would hazard a guess each one would be about... I don't know, 600 calories? No, nowhere near that much. What, more? Less, a lot less. Oh, right, okay. Uh, per, 300. Per donut, 223 calories. Oh. 9.5 grams per one of fat. Of fat. Yeah, saturated is 5.2, which is red, which is obviously good. Mm. 11.5 grams of sugar. 13% mm. of the whole donut is made up in just pure sugar. Mm. And then very little salt, 0 0.3 grams. Yeah, so basically then your diet is completely out of the window, all in one, all in two bites. Well, you have had me on the on the old uh, pick and shovel today, so I'm sure I've burnt more than that. Well, you better hope so, mate, because that thing there that's poking out down there in front of you... I know, it's wobble when I laugh. ...has got to go, and we're both in the same boat, mate, aren't we? Yeah. And there we go, a day of hard graft, which, to be honest, I've actually enjoyed it. Brad said he enjoyed it today as well. We used it as a bit of a workout. So, yeah, all dug out. So what we've got, look is we've got our 150 mil. So you've got these slabs of 30 mil, you've got a 20 to 30 mil base underneath, uh, bed underneath that. So what do we dig that? It was between like 150 and 180 in parts, wasn't it? Yeah. So I should, uh, by the time we put our 100 mil of uh, MOT1 in there now, and whack it, 
that will be uh, job done. And the second in thing about this is we got all this to take up where Brad stood, and Monkey Brain Year, who was old in the phone, which is me, hired that bad boy yesterday and today, and it's just sat there looking at us while we've been digging it all out, mate, haven't it? Because, like a bloody plonker that I am, I realised that the digger would fit through there width-wise, but what I didn't take into consideration is Margaret has got this ivy all over the house, and it narrows, narrows the opening, and we couldn't get through with it, Brad, should we? No, Could we? Couldn't. So I've had to pay now for two days for that mini digger to be sat there doing absolutely nothing. So, because you've worked so hard all day today, Brad, I'm going to take the price of that out of your wages and uh, you can pay for it. Okay. Or I've taken all this out. I don't know what you've been doing all day, Bradley. Eating those bloody jam donuts in the middle of the skip there, look. So now we chucked all that on air between us. Done a, done a good shift today, mate, haven't we? Shall we go home now? Yeah. Enjoy the weekend, everyone, and we'll see you back here Monday. Finally got to use the digger on this section. So we're carrying on digging this section out now. When you're doing it, always be careful. You're looking for... Uh, Margaret actually told us that there was a, an armoured cable going to the garage. So always be very, very careful for pipes. You don't know where they are. So Brad's doing a good job there on his own. I'm on the digger. Some old fellas on the digger. And at this point, we're just working together, um, cleaning it all through, making sure it's all at the right levels. And then once it's all dug out, you can start bringing your, your scalpings in or your MOT type one. And it's a nice dry day, which makes a change in Wales. So Brad's carrying on doing it. What he's doing, he's putting the scalpings in in such a way that it's easy for me to rake around. So put your first layer in. And then what you do is you put your first layer in, say 75 mil, whack it. So you're going to be whacking this in two stages. And then what you do then, once that's whacked, start bringing the second load of... Uh, MOT type one in again he's just putting them in in humps just you know easy for me to rake around well it's never easy but he's putting it in places where it's, it is easier for me to rake it around if you're wondering what the blue things are they're just screens Margaret's going to be putting some stained glass glass in there with all lead so that's different seen us on the time lapse doing all this so what we got going on here now is this patio we're going to do this in like three different patios, if that makes any sense. And what I mean by that is this patio here is going to be sloping down to that way. So all this runoff is coming down this way and sloping that way into the eco drains down there. So that's patio one. If you move back, Brad, patio two is this one. This is going to be going this way into the garden over here. And then if you go back a bit further again, patio three is this one here. And this patio is going to be draining into the garden here. So we can't put any eco drains in or anything because there's no guttering or gullies or anything for us to put on there. So there we are. That's the paint. That's the base done. Hope this helps you. Key points to remember are when you're digging down on the solid ground, organise your drainage, whether it be into a soak away or whether it be into the drainage system or eco drains and things like that. Get your level sorted. Minimum of 150 mil of uh, MOT type one compacted in two stages. If you noticed, we can put the first layer down, compacted it and then compacted the second layer. And uh, yeah, it's absolutely solid now. So good to go for the next stage, which is laying the patio. Please like, subscribe. See you on the next one.